Hey guys and welcome back to Everyday AI, the channel where we talk about how you interact with artificial intelligence in your everyday lives. Today I want to introduce you to someone who made a bit of a splash a couple years ago. Sophia, the first human AI robot. Okay, so calling Sophia a human is probably a bit of a stretch, but I wouldn't say it's that crazy to call her a person. Sophia is an artificially intelligent humanoid robot developed by Hanson Robotics. And I could do a whole video on the robots that Hanson Robotics has come up with. But to keep it short, I'll tell you that Hanson Robotics is a Hong Kong based robotics company that develops emotionally intelligent artificial intelligence robots. Sophia is actually not the first robot that Hanson Robotics came out with. They've been developing and showcasing their robots since 2005. However, she's probably the most famous. <clears throat> Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. These robots are designed to look very human-like like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas, an ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. So what's so special about Sophia anyway? Well, unlike a lot of the other robots that Hanson Robotics has developed, which tend to focus on one aspect of the human experience, Sophia is probably the closest that we've gotten to a human AI mashup. She uses artificial intelligence, facial recognition, and visual processing systems using the cameras in her eyes to understand human facial expressions and replicate them on her own face. She also uses voice recognition, which was developed by Alphabet, the parent company of Google, to attribute voices to specific individuals and learn how to respond and engage in natural conversation. She also looks eerily human. Her face was modeled off of Audrey Hepburn. When she debuted, Sophia only really existed from the waist up, but about a year ago in January 2018, she was given legs and now she can walk around. So earlier I mentioned that while Sophia isn't human, we could call her a person. Why? Well, because in 2017, Saudi Arabia gave her citizenship, making her the first non-human to receive a nationality. She's also received visas to enter countries to go to conferences. She was the first non-human to receive the Innovation Champion Award in 2017 by the United Nations. And she's been both a keynote speaker and a panelist at a ton of different events. Also, apparently she's getting her own reality TV show, so that's a thing. Now, this isn't to say that she's getting anywhere close to human intelligence. Hanson Robotics openly admits that a lot of the interviews, keynotes, and panel discussions that she participates in are actually somewhat staged. Instead, Sophia uses a combination of what she's learned through her conversations in artificial intelligence and explicit programming by the developers at Hanson Robotics. For example, when she went on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, I can't imagine that she naturally would have come up with this. Jimmy, uh -huh. would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. Okay, let's get this game going. Show me your hand to start. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. Personally, I think that one of the more interesting things that we get from Sophia is an insight into how humans interact with artificial intelligence in different ways. So in my last video, we talked about how Americans in particular are somewhat skeptical of artificial intelligence and how it might be useful in their lives and whether or not it might harm them. You can see a lot of that cautious optimism in the way that people interact with Sophia during these interviews. However, artificial intelligence is baked into our social media, it's baked into our voice assistants, and you don't see that same level of caution there. It's only when you put a face to it that people have a different reaction. 
And in my opinion, you might actually want to be having that reaction more often than you think. But let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and like this video so that I know. You can also always let me know about new topics that you'd like me to cover in the comments down below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!